Hey, what's up, 12 Stone Church family? So glad you guys are joining us for Family Devotional tonight. I'm excited to worship with you and talk a little bit about worship. Uh, my name is Lee Baker, and I'm the lead worship pastor here at 12 Stone. I uh, was reading the other day in Psalm 100, and something struck me uh, in that passage, and I ended up sharing a little bit of this on an Instagram Live uh, thing that we did uh, last week with our with some of our worship pastors. It was really fun, but the idea of gratitude has been heavy on my heart. And, um, you know, I had a, a mentor and, and who said this, but maybe, maybe you know a lot of people who've said something like this. And I think it's very true that um, if you're looking for something, you're going to find it. Meaning that if you are looking for something to worry about, man, you'll probably find it. If you're, if you're looking for something to be scared of, uh, you'll probably find it. If you're looking for something to be angry about, you, you could probably find that. But I also believe that if you're looking for something to be thankful for, you know, you can find that as well. And these are times, you know, that are so unprecedented. And I think that just to be reminded of the things that we should be thankful for is, is a huge encouragement to my heart. And thankfulness is super powerful in terms of worship. You know, maybe you're in this season right now and you're going, you know, I don't really know like how to worship right now. I don't really feel like worshiping. What do I do? You know, people ask me all the time, what, what do I do when I just don't feel like worshiping? And my response is always this, just be thankful. Just be thankful. Thankfulness is the simplest way uh, for us to understand, I believe, into entering into the presence of God. I think that's why in Psalm 100 that it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. This outer portion in the Old Testament that surrounded the temple, you had to come through the gate to get into the courts to get to the temple. And, and what the psalmist was saying was, come into his gates with thanksgiving. Uh, it's the first, it's the simplest thing that we can put on our heart is just to think of and list the things that we're thankful for. It's a simple thing for us to do when we don't know how to worship or we don't feel like worshiping. Uh, is just to go, God, would you remind my heart right now of the things that I have to be thankful for? Uh, simple things food, a roof over my head, all the way to specific prayers that maybe God's answered for you in the last few days. Maybe today God's done something for you and you just want to, you just want to thank him. And in the midst of thinking about this and, uh, and, and, and processing it a little bit and talking about it on that, that Instagram live call with some of our worship pastors and friends, um, a song came to me and it's kind of an old song and I'm going to sing a few verses of it actually. Um, and, and these verses I, I think are great, but you could even replace uh, one of these words with your own word. Um, this is a kind of an older song. Uh, if you don't know it, it's super simple. Um, so your children can engage with it. Young kids can jump in with it as well. Uh, and so uh, I just want to sing a couple of uh, verses, maybe a few verses of it. I invite you to sing with me and just let God begin to flood your heart uh, with the things that, that you have to be thankful for. Um, so let's sing a little. Thank you for loving me. Thankful for his love. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. God saved our souls. Let's thank him for saving us. Save. Thank you for saving. healed you of something recently. Maybe God's healed a relationship in your life. Maybe it's been from a sickness. Maybe you know someone he's healed. You just want to thank him for his healing. Let's sing that. Say Love 
that song is so simple just to thank God. Thank Him for His love. Thank you for saving us, God. Thank you for healing us. You can even put a different word in there. Thank you for, for helping me. Thank you for guiding me. Uh, thank you for finding me. There's so many things we can say to God in thankfulness. And so I encourage you in the next few moments, maybe you're with family or friends, and uh, you can take a moment and just list the things, talk about the things that you're thankful for. And I think that our gratitude will push our hearts into the presence of God. It's the gateway into the presence of God, thankfulness is. And so I encourage you, spend some time with those that you're with, or maybe if you're by yourself, get out a pen, a piece of paper, just start writing down things that you're thankful for and pray prayers of worship, prayers of thanksgiving for all the things that God has poured out on us. He's so generous. He loves us so much. And I hope that this encourages your heart towards worship today. Hey, and also before you go, just want to invite you, some of our worship pastors are hanging out uh, tonight, Tuesday, May 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Instagram Live. We're going to talk worship, we're going to chat, we're going to sing some songs. It's going to be a great time. Uh, at 12 Stone Worship on Instagram, 8 p.m. tonight, uh, May 19th, that's Tuesday, and uh, you guys come join us. We'll be on from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. just chatting about worship, talking about what God's doing, singing some songs. It should be a great time. So come join us on Instagram tonight, Instagram Live with 12 Stone Worship.